Each year, there may be changes to federal, state, or local tax rates or maximums. When you need to apply these changes, be sure to update the new values before you enter the first payroll for the new year. After viewing this lesson, you'll be able to update payroll calculations to ensure values for the new calendar year are correct. Before you process your first payroll in the new year, be sure to adjust rates or maximums as needed. There may be changes in Social Security, Medicare, state unemployment, or vacation and sick accruals. If the change is not employee specific, make the changes directly in 531 payroll calculations and then update employees. Let's take a look at how to update rates and maximums in 531 payroll calculations. Let's say the maximum for Social Security changes for the new year. Use the drop-down list to find the employee Social Security payroll calculation. Double-click on the calculation to select and open. To change the maximum on a payroll calculation, click in the default max box and type the new maximum amount. To change the maximum on a payroll calculation, click in the default max box. When you complete the adjustments, click Save. A message displays to remind you to use the Options menu to update employee records with the new maximum. Click OK. Use Recall Last Record to return to the calculation. To update all employees, select Option, then Update Employees. The option you choose here is based on the changes you made in the payroll calculation. In this example, there was only a change to the maximum, so we'll select Update Maximum Only. When you update employee maximums, you can choose to update all employees with this calculation, which only updates employee records that have this payroll calculation active on the employee record. Or you can update current employees with this calculation, which only updates employee records with the status of current that also have this payroll calculation active on the employee record. We'll select Update all employees with this calculation. A message displays to confirm you want to update all employees with the changes. Click Yes. All employees with this calculation are now updated with the new maximum. Click OK on the confirmation. We're not done yet. We updated the employee Social Security, but there's also the employer Social Security. Let's update that calculation too. Click the drop-down arrow to search for and select the Employer Social Security Calculation. Double-click in the list to open the calculation. In the default max box, type the new maximum for this year. When you complete the adjustments, click Save. A message displays to remind you to use the Options menu to update employee records with the new maximum. Click OK. Use Recall Last Record to return to the calculation. To update all employees, select Option, then Update Employees. We'll update the same way we updated the employee side, Maximum Only, and all employees with this calculation. A message displays to confirm you want to update all employees with the changes. Click Yes. Click OK on the confirmation. Use this process to update any other payroll calculations before you process payroll for the new calendar year. To remove any calculations you no longer use, before the first payroll in the new year, open 531 Payroll Calculations, locate the calculation, and select Edit Delete Calculation. If you need to update the rate, Follow the same process, but update the default rate rather than default maximum. After you make a rate change, select the appropriate item under Options, Update Employees, then Update Default Rate and Maximum. Now that the calculations are updated, 
Let's take a look at the employee calculations in 521 Employees to see these updates. Select 521 Employees and open an employee. Click the Calculations tab. As you can see, the employee and employer payroll calculations are updated with the new maximum. As a reminder, if the changes to a payroll calculation are not employee-specific and should apply across all employees with that calculation, then it's best to make the changes in 531 payroll calculations. This is typically the case with updates mandated by the federal, state, and local government. If the change to a payroll calculation is employee-specific, where the employee controls the contribution amount for that calculation, then make those changes directly in 521 Employees on that Employee's Calculations tab. An example is a 401k contribution or a health insurance rate change. For example, an employee would like to change their annual 401k contribution maximum to $14,500. To make this change, click in the Maximum column for the Employee 401k row and type the new maximum amount. When you make changes directly on the 521 Employee Record Calculations tab, the change only affects the employees on which you make the change. After you make the change, click Save. In this lesson, you learned how to update payroll calculation rates and maximums for the new year.